In today's video, we get to see some rather unusual items, like this substance that looks like it's alive and this black void. Hydrogel. Hydrogels are an intriguing class of compounds. This material is interesting because it is suspended somewhere between a liquid and a solid. A hydrogel keeps its structure and does not flow around objects like a solid. However, it does bend like a liquid and has extraordinarily soft pliability. We've all heard of Jell-O, a well-known hydrogel. It's a popular snack all across the world. However, there are various forms of hydrogels and applications for them aside from food. In the field of science, hydrogels are showing great promise for biomaterials that are used on or in the human body because of their flexibility and resilience. Their capacity to totally liquefy, fill a space, solidify, and remain flexible is astounding. Hydrogels are a class of polymers that have both chemical and physical features. This allows them to transition from solid to liquid state with ease. Polymer proteins evaporate and travel more readily when heated. When chilled, the same proteins stiffen again, though not as dramatically as when water hardens into ice. Because of these proteins, hydrogel is one of the most unusual feeling and visually appealing compounds. Triodide. Superhydrophobic material. We don't buy superhydrophobic material to cover leather and suede products, nor do we buy spray coatings to protect our outdoor wood products from all rain and other factors. This is different from the ones that we normally get. A superhydrophobic covering allows water to enclose itself in small spheres that resemble jewels or marbles. It's actually so water resistant that if you sprayed it over your old windshield, you could drive in the rain at up to 64 kilometers per hour without getting wet. Goodbye, dependable windshield wipers. In fact, superhydrophobic material repels practically all liquids, causing them to shrivel up into small balls that can be rolled around like marbles. This material is outstanding and has numerous uses, including those in the high-tech industry. It's also quite strange as well. In 2021, a team developed a unique superhydrophobic material with significant potential in a variety of applications, including bacterial disinfection, which has become critical in the face of the COVID-19 epidemic. This splits water electrocatalysis and hydrogen generation. The novel gel provides a mean for carrying out such activities that's superior to what it is now available. For example, splitting electrocatalysis is significantly easier with the new gel. These advancements will definitely lead to new breakthroughs, such as more efficient fuel cells. The new cyperhydrophobic nanomaterial has a lot of promise. Uho Uho spheres are made by immersing frozen liquid balls in an algal mixture which forms a membrane around the ice. The ice melts into liquid water in a biodegradable membrane, establishing a watertight cover around it. You can drink the liquid by biting into the tasteless membrane. You can also sip it or devour the whole thing, membrane and all. A group of design students in London produced the Uhau prototype in 2014. Rodrigo Garcia Gonzalez and Pierre Yves Paslier co-founded Skipping Rocks Lab not long after. The procedure is straightforward. All you have to do is combine sodium alginate and calcium chloride until you have a gelatinous membrane that encapsulates water or any other liquid. Ooh, how edible water became a viral phenomenon due to its no plastic premise. However, the concept was not as viable as the company had hoped. The spheres have a finite shelf life and will shrink and break after a short period of time. In July of 2019, the company changed its name from Skipping Rocks Lab to Notpla, which stands for Not Plastic. With the renaming, Notpla is concentrated on more durable, sustainable packaging. Notpla began producing seaweed-coated food packaging. The packaging is biodegradable because it's compromised of seaweed and other plants. It's intended for liquids and biodegrades in four to six weeks. Ferrofluid. Ferrofluids are liquids that can be easily molded into unusual shapes without ever touching them. Ferrofluids, which are often dark, blackish, reddish, or grayish liquids, behave similarly to any other liquid when not in the presence of the magnetic field. When fluids come into contact with a magnetic field, they become highly magnetized and begin to morph, bend, or pull. They perform the same function as our regular solid magnets, but in a liquid form. This material has the appearance of a dark liquid metal. It can be brought online or made using easily accessible internet instructions. It's pretty wonderful to observe ferrofluids in action as they respond to the magnetic field and fall right in line with it, just like so many other physics wonders. When the magnetic field is removed, they disperse at random. Blackest Black A coating made of carbon nanotubes by MIT engineers is reportedly 10 times darker than any substance previously developed, including Vanta Black. The coating, composed of vertically aligned carbon nanotubes, or CNT, grown on chlorine etched aluminum foil, can absorb 99.995% of visible light. 
Vanta Black, developed by Surrey Nanosystems, absorbs up to 99.96% of visible light and was previously the darkest black on record. Wardle and his colleagues at MIT developed the covering while exploring with ways to grow CNTs on aluminum to improve its conductivity. When aluminum is exposed to air, it creates an oxide coating, which reduces its heat and electricity carrying characteristics. The scientists removed this layer by immersing the aluminum foil in chlorine-based salt water. The etched foil was placed in an oxygen-free environment before being placed in an oven to develop CNT by chemical vapor deposition. Cameras and telescopes used for astronomical research benefit from black coatings that absorb any unwanted brightness. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This green-colored substance looks like it has a life of its own as it spills out of the container. It makes you wonder what would be causing it to behave like that, right? Magnetic Putty If you think the conventional silly putty is a gooey ball of fun, you'll enjoy magnetic putty as well. When iron oxide particles are added to silly putty, it becomes magnetic. The iron oxides magnetize the putty, making it a million times more interesting and enjoyable than conventional putty. When magnets come into contact with its magnetic field, the putty slowly swallows them. The magnets are absorbed because the putty's magnetic field is strongest in the middle of the blob. Magnets are steadily sucked into the putty until they reach the strongest point of the magnetic field. Because of the way it moves, you might even think that it has a life of its own. But I assure you, this is 100% not alive. As fun as this material looks, it also has its own practical uses. It can remove stains and serve as an eraser. It was also used by astronauts during the Apollo missions to keep tools in place in zero gravity. Magnetizing putty by adding iron oxide makes it even more useful and amusing. Magnetic putty is also used underwater to test pipes, platforms, and other structures for damage. If something is difficult to reach, magnetic putty is applied and molded to the object. The iron oxides will then align themselves along the magnetic field once it's applied. It is an effective way of magnetic particle inspection once the magnetic putty has dried and the ink has been applied. Nitinol Nickel titanium, often known as nitinol, is a metal alloy having several exceedingly rare and essential characteristics. Nitinol is commonly used in the medical field, but it also has other uses. Nitinol exhibits super elasticity, or the ability to remember its initial shape. That's why it's also called memory metal. So if you build an object out of nitinol and then bend it entirely out of shape, it will then crawl and form back into its former shape in front of your eyes. This phenomenon is known as pseudo-elasticity. Shape memory qualities make it both entertaining and useful. Stents are an excellent use because nitinol can bend within the human body when necessary and has the toughness of a metal and can return to its original form if the stress that caused it to warp is removed. Heat activates nitinol's bending and shape-shifting capabilities. It will flex out of its original shape at certain temperatures. Other times, it'll revert to its former state. This temperature difference is within one degree Celsius of being regulated. Materials having a memory range from algae that remembers the light that is shown on it to nitinol, which always recalls its initial shape and returns to it under the correct conditions. Aerogel Imagine making a large bowl of a dessert made with delicious gelatin. The gelatin powder is combined with hot water before being chilled in the refrigerator until it hardens. It's transformed into a gel. Put that wiggly gel in an oven and dried out all the liquid, all that would be left is a pile of powder. But what if the dry gelatin retained its shape even after the liquid was removed? The gel structure would be preserved, but it would be incredibly light due to its low density. This is exactly how aerogels are created. Aerogels are among the lightest solid materials yet discovered. They're made by mixing a polymer and a solvent to make a gel, then removing a liquid and replacing it with the air. Aerogels are very porous and light in weight. They have a substantial feel about them, and this translucent material is regarded as one of the best insulation materials on the market. See you all next time!